If you've just tuned in, you're watching Newslink on ENCA and Public Enterprises Minister Praveen Gordon spoke at Vitz Business School on Thursday. But as you'll remember, the gathering descended into chaos after students challenged him on blackouts and problems at SOEs. One of those students was Nkateko Muruewa, uh, the social activist, joins us now to talk about uh, that confrontation that took place um, at that particular event that happened on Thursday. Um, maybe tell us first why it was important for you to challenge the minister in that setting, which was a completely different event from the issues that you raised with him. Um, um, good um, morning, Rofio and Machiron. And in Machiron, I was in the ENCA. So, um, um, if, 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 one, uh, if, if you listen to the minister speaking, um, the minister spoke about all the issues that we were raising. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in his uh, 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 introduction, he says he's a crusader against state capture 2.0. And he even mentioned some petty things that people are being bought by using chicken, mustard martins and stuff like stuff that I don't even want to entertain, right? Um, and, and, and by the time he got to SOEs, he had made that sitting political. Mm -hmm. It was no longer about intellectual debate on the transformation and reform of, uh, of, 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 of SOEs. It was now about politics. And we engaged him at that level. Because you must remember when you come to Vit University, the level that you present first is the level that you're going to be addressed through. Mm -hmm. If you present a professional level, we're going to address you professionally. But if you pose yourself as a political crusader against corruption and name dropping people, uh, in one way or another, without even, uh, w without, so, not in so many words, we are going to engage you politically. Mm -hmm. Because after all, you are a politician. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of issues. Uh, Robio, I challenged the minister, and I still challenge him today. At 7 p.m., I said to him, let's go to Hillbro. Mm -hmm. Let's walk from MTN taxi rank, come up to, uh, to, to, to Louis Porter Avenue, and let him see what people are facing. People are coming from work at that time. And people are coming from work in this industrial area, sent in Hyde Park and the rest. And most of them use taxis, right? And there was load shedding at that time, right? And I, was, I wanted him to see the reality of what load shedding is doing mm -hmm. so that they expedite the process. Because the minister in his speech told us that load shedding is here to stay. And load shedding is not going to, uh, to be resolved anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah, I want to engage on the minister's response. I yes. mean, what we saw on television uh, was him condemning the challenges that, uh, the challenging rather, that was posed at him by the different students, um, calling it various names. In fact, they released a statement, the department subsequent to that evening. Uh, would, would you say that was disappointing, that he missed an opportunity to engage you um, on these issues? And like you say, without politicizing it and yeah. looking at the issue for what it is and saying, okay, let's try and find solutions. Do you think he missed an opportunity? He missed a very great opportunity. Mm. Because uh, amongst us, there were uh, geophysicists, there were uh, uh, master's students studying evaluation, master's students studying the state itself, master's students studying economics. There were a lot of expertise inside that room. But he missed that opportunity the minute he politicized the whole uh, lecture. Right? And and, and, and I, I want to tell you, well, like I said, we're intellectuals, right? But we're not going to tolerate political disrespect. Mm. What about the notion that you hackling the minister in that setting was also a form of disrespect and therefore he could not engage at an intellectual or other level? The, the minister was never heckled. What would you call those scenes that we saw on television? The scenes that you see, you know, uh, things that you see most of the time on TV is what people want you to see. And precisely because after that, immediately after, I think 30 minutes after that, the minister, the, the, there were news uh, things, news agencies reporting that we were there, we were routed, the minister wanted to engage. No, 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 that's, that, that's, that, that, that is arrant nonsense. Mm -hmm. The minister ran away, by the way. The minister was not whisked away. Mm -hmm. He must not lie. He ran away from a city. And we were asking uncomfortable political questions. He was even pointing fingers at some of us there. Mm -hmm. way before that commotion. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, 
there, 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 were no, there were no disruptions. There were no disruptions. I maintain it. Yes. Uh, well, uh, so let's bar the fact that what we saw is what we saw. What are you wanting to see now? Because there have been various calls from various stakeholders about the future of the Minister of Public Enterprises in the country and what should be happening. As a student activist and one that engages with others, um, um, uh, 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 what would you like to see happen? What conversations do you want to see happening? Well, um, now we, we've, we're way past conversation stage. You know, uh, our government for the past 30 years has been talking, trying to get solutions, not even solutions, trying to give us problems instead of solutions. We elected them there to give solutions. We didn't elect them there to give us problems mm. that they face within the state. We elected the, to, them there to solve those problems. Immediately they, they encounter them. Mm. Otherwise, if they're going to come to us with problems, then what's the use of them being in, this, in, in, state, in state power? Yeah, and Gata, they must leave. Yeah, there's also been, uh, so there's a lot on Praveen Gordon as the Minister of Public Enterprises. What accountability do you think Gwede Mandashi needs to take? Because a lot of this issue is around policy implementation yes. so that we can get private power producers onto the grid and provide the power that South Africa so desperately need. But because of vested interests in coal and the like, these processes are extremely slow. So surely there needs to be accountability from a department like Mineral in, um, 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 and Energy. The, the, the old man has not, I mean, I mean, really, if we were to speak primarily on the ESCOM issue, right? And this, I think this question stems from there. What, what can he do? What powers does he have over ESCOM? That is why we said in that lecture that if you want a, 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 a solution, I can tell you, if ESCOM today is transferred to minerals and energy, I'm telling you, there won't be load sitting for the next five years. I can say it as a matter of authority. How do you know that? What would, what would the Department of Mineral Resources do differently than public enterprises? Well, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, when, 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 when we're, when we're uh, being taught at school, yes. you are told that leave a, a particular matter to experts. What does a pharmacist know about uh, uh, energy? Well, what would a Gwede Mantashe, who is a unionist, uh, know about He's energy? not just a unionist. He's a miner. He knows but, everything about mining. Exactly. And he knows, he knows the quality of coal. Because right now we're being told of quality of coal. And, 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 I, I, and, and, and I can bet to you right now, Pra Minister Pravin Godan has not done an assessment on those coals himself. He's being told that the quality of coal is not right. Right? And a minister like Gwede Mantashe would therefore go and inspect on himself to say, this coal that we're producing locally for, for local consumption, mm -hmm. Is it good enough? And I don't think minister like Gwede Mantashe, who's a communist, would uh, therefore ship out a uh, high-grade coal and leave us with a low-grade coal. Well, you know, this is an argument that we could have all morning because I want to put to you that the power crisis in South Africa is beyond just coal. Should the Department of Mineral Resources and Public Enterprises and other related stakeholders not be pushing policy to but, bring on private players but, to but, add on to the grid? It's but, not just about coal. But Rufiwa, 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 let's understand one thing here. Uh, our primary source of energy, we, what is it? We will what? always have a base load. What, what we will is our always have a source? base load. It's no. about introducing alternative power sources. No, no one denies no, that, that there that, will that, always that, be that, a base. That, that, is, that, that is a Western uh, propaganda. But Look I at Germany think... today. Germany has a, 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 the best uh, infrastructure in green energy. It has the best infrastructure. But they're failing. Themselves, they're, they've admitted. So, so, so what alternative sources of power? Look at all the great powers of the world, the United States, China, UK. They are all using coal primarily and nuclear. So you can't, you can't, well, the only alternative that we can speak about is nuclear right now. Uh, which may, many of you in the you media can't afford. Um, what, yes. what I want to say to you is that there are examples of alternative energy sources that do work in countries. Uh, those examples that you've just mentioned are just a few. But they can work. Um, they and can, I, they and in I'm South just. Uh, they will. I think they would work. Uh, there have been various studies that have been done to show the potential. Uh, but you and I will engage on this a little further at a, uh, at another time. I've got our producers there okay. uh, telling us that we've run out of time. But it is a very important topic. 
um, and we need to have it with open minds so that we can actually find sustainable uh, solutions uh, to the energy crisis in South Africa. That is